Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new hero, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. And today I'm super excited because we are doing a challenge I have never done before, which is where I sew, pattern, prototype, an entire dress, gown actually, it's gonna be a floor length gown, in one day, one day. Also, I'm gonna try to do the photo shoot today as well. So like literally whole process beginning to end, except for the designing, I already kind of figured out what I wanted to do. Whole process today. Also, we're already getting a late start because it's like, it's past 11, so I wanna be done by five. <laughs> so let me show you the designs I have in mind. We have two designs and I asked you guys on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, in like a little real form what you guys liked and it was kind of split 50 50 between both dresses this dress i feel like everyone generally kind of liked but to me it just doesn't feel unique enough you know and this is the second dress which i actually like a little bit more just because i've never really seen anything like this before i love the gloves attached to the sleeves i think it's exciting i think the cutouts are fun so this is the dress that I think we're gonna go with. Um, if you wanna be a part of like more decision making like that with designs, definitely follow me. Well, definitely subscribe, you know, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, but definitely Instagram is where I ask the most opinions from you guys. So yeah. Okay, so let's get into patterning. All right, so after I finished sketching and finalizing my design, you know, it's important to like have all of your design details finalized before you pattern, of course, but then I went into Illustrator and I'm working from a basic t-shirt pattern, a basic turtleneck pattern, and I'm just adjusting the pattern from that. Um, you can obviously just do this by paper, and this is not me actually doing it, I'm just kind of going fast to show you what the process is. Basically lengthen it, widen the hips, and widen the hem, and you can see what the before turtleneck bodice looked like versus the dress now. Not much change. And this is my turtleneck pattern, by the way, so you can use it if you want, or you can use my turtleneck dress. For the cutout, basically, you are literally just going to cut out the parts you don't want. That's it. That's it. Welcome to my fabric closet. I have a lot of fabrics, so we will not be purchasing any new fabrics for this project. I do have this fabric. This is what I kind of designed the dress um, with this fabric in mind because I've had this, not for too long, but I've had my eye on this forever. It's from Joann's. Let me bring it up close so you can see. It's this like plaid velvet and it's kind of see-through, so. Ooh. But it's from Joann's and I've wanted it forever. And every time I walk by it, I'm like, could this work for the project I'm currently doing? And the answer is always no. So I just bought it because I was scared that it would go out of stock before I could use it. So I bought like four yards of it, cause why not? So um, we're gonna use it for this project. It's really stretchy. It's perfect for this pattern idea because I just need a stretch fabric for it. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so here is our prototype. There are a few changes we need to make. For instance, this is like literally, I'm becoming choked. It's literally choking me and that's because the back panel does not extend high enough on the shoulder. So I need to extend this back panel. So that's something I'm gonna have to do. These don't go further like out enough on the shoulder. So I'm just gonna extend that a little. And then I'm also gonna change the placement of this cutout to be a little bit more to the side just so it doesn't go up so high on the neck. Oh, and then lastly, I also wanna make the skirt hem flare out a little bit. So um, I like how it is now, but I want it to flare out a little bit more. The problem is like with only side seams on a dress, you are kind of limited by how much you can flare out. So we can go a little bit more, but not too much. I'm gonna kind of get around that by also making the hips a little bit bigger since I can, I can make the hips a little bit bigger and it still be tight enough. So yeah, prototype. I will prototype the glove later, but for now, yeah, I'm gonna go make those adjustments. To make the pattern for the glove, I basically just trace around my hand with my fingers spread wide open, um, as wide as they can be, and I'm adding quarter inch seam allowance around the entire thing. Uh, when you do this, also, you need to make sure you're using really stretchy fabric, otherwise, it's not gonna work. Okay, guys, um, who's ready to see the glove? Oh, no! No! This is horrifying. Um, honestly, this part is good. This part is good. 
um, it's just like between the fingies and I've done this before I've made a glove before and this is the same thing that happened. I wonder where that pattern went. I think I honestly still have it actually um, so Maybe I should have just looked for that a little bit harder, but you know what now you got to see me Make it and we love the patterning prototyping process here. So Yay um, But yeah, it's just the fingers like this needs to go deeper well, actually, I don't think that's what it is. I think it's more like the fingers themselves are too tight. Like I can't get my, my fingers through them. So I think that these are a good depth. It's just like these need to be wider. Otherwise, my fingers aren't going to go in. So she was almost there. It honestly, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would look too. So kind of a slay. Let's do take two. Actually, guess what? We're not, we're not prototyping again. We are literally just going to change the pattern and... Hooray, so. Now that we have prototyped, it's time to make the final dress. So I am just placing all of my patterns, my new patterns, my new and improved patterns on top of my fabric using my little, everyone calls them donuts. They're homemade pattern weights made by my mother and I'm cutting everything out. Also check out my new pink cutting mat. Isn't she so cute? I love her. She's by Fiskars. And I also got this giant cutting mat from Joann's. It's by Sullivan. So now I can cut out my giant pattern pieces without like having to use scissors. I hate using scissors. I am a rotary cutter girl all day, every day. I think it just makes your life easier. I feel like all of your cuts are more precise. They go faster. Um, I am team rotary cutter. Also, it brings me so much joy to pin up my pattern pieces on my dress form while I'm sewing. You know, it doesn't really do anything. It just makes me able to visualize what the dress is going to be. So I love pinning up my pattern pieces. Also just, I guess it keeps me organized a little bit. That way I don't lose anything and I make sure everything's going the right way, but it just brings me so much joy. Anyways, to finish off all of those cutouts, I'm going to take strips of fabric two inches wide and whatever length, and I'm going to fold those wrong sides together and just surge it with half inch seam allowance onto my dress and i'm pulling the strip as i'm doing this very slightly so it ends up being really nice and like it keeps the cutout close to your body do you know what i'm saying so it has to stretch while you're wearing it and then i just cut off the excess strip i'm gonna do that to all of the cutout pieces and then it's gonna be time to just put the dress right sides together everywhere and sew her up. So I'm gonna sew the side seams first and the shoulder seams. Then I can go on to the sleeves, but very easy dress, minimal seams because it's basically just like a front and a back with cutouts, so easy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am doing a slit on one of the sides of the dress. So if you want a like detailed tutorial on how to sew a slit in any seam, I'm gonna link a video on the top of the screen, one of my old videos, one of my tutorials, and I'm gonna link it down below in the comments so that you can have that reference. Now on to the sleeves. So I've adjusted my sleeve pattern. Now onto the sleeve glove situation. So I've adjusted my glove, made my edits. Now let me show you how I combine it with a sleeve. So check out where your thumb is on your body, right? Your thumb is at your inseam of your sleeve. You know what I'm saying? So when I combine the glove to the sleeve, I wanna make sure that the thumb lines up with the inseam and the pinky lines up with the middle of the sleeve. Then I'm gonna cut out two of those, place them right sides together and sew all the way around to make the sleeve pattern. And when you are um, sewing this, you need to use a zigzag stitch use the thin zigzag stitch that acts as like the straight stitch for your your stretch fabrics you know and you're gonna want to go really slow with this this sleeve it's sped up right but it took me 15 16 minutes to sew because you got to be really careful around all of those curves you got to make sure you're following the curve and you want to use quarter inch seam allowance or even less like when i got to in between the fingers i went all the way down to like an eighth of an inch seam allowance so that it could actually fit around my fingers but yeah go really slowly this is actually super satisfying i love watching myself sew this when cody was editing this he was like oh my god you have to watch how you sew the gloves it is so satisfying watching you go, going around all those little curves and he's right it is it is but yeah anyways it takes a long time so just go super slow moment of truth i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it inside out or right side out first because 
this is velvet and it's gonna be hard for me to get my hand in here so actually one second let me get a turner and turn it they're not they're not stuck out yet but i also don't know i think this is the thumb yes okay so we'll try my giant nails oh my god really oh my god Just pull up stick out i need like tweezers <gasps> oh my god my hand went in oh my god everyone call ah! oh my god oh my god oh my god other glove the one that's not going to be attached so i just use the same pattern and then cut it without the sleeve cap so here it is it's actually a little bit loose right here i think that's because it's supposed to be like this is supposed to be all the way up here and then this would be stretched with the sleeve cap um so i'm just going to tighten this up a little bit so it stays on you know and then i'm gonna hem it like an inch um, and then I'm also going to hem the dress. And to hem, we could do a bunch of things. We could use a cover stitch machine, of course. That's normally what is used to hem knits. Or we could use a twin needle on my home sewing machine. Or we could do a zigzag stitch. So I got to pick. Hmm. I don't want to use my cover stitch because there's white thread in it right now. And I don't want to thread my cover stitch machine. I also don't really want to use the twin needle. I should use the twin needle. I'll go use the twin needle. I cannot believe that I just finished that. Hold on, what time is it? Let me see. 6.16, I started after 11. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go try her on. Be oh, there goes the glove. I left a little hand. Oh my God. Also, I love the fact that you could do like glove on or glove off. But anyways, let's just go try her on because we're gonna lose daylight soon. <laughs> All right guys, so that is the one day dress I made and here are my thoughts after making it. These are the things I would change. So one, those strips I used to finish the cutout edges, I would have used um, plain velvet because the velvet I used now had the plaid um, pattern on it and it was very textured. So that texture made those strips look like they might've been cut or sewn unevenly, they weren't, but that texture made it look like that. So next time I would use something without texture on those um, binding edges. Another thing I would have done is fix the fit of this. It was a little bit loose up here. I over adjusted and made the shoulders too wide. So I would bring that back in a little bit. And actually that's those are, those are the only changes I would have made. But yeah, usually you guys know I'm like a two, three, four prototype type of girl. I try not to make the final garment before it has been perfected in prototyping fabric, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to do something new that I haven't really done before and try and make something in one day. Didn't have to be perfect, but she sure was pretty close. She was pretty cute. But yeah, I don't think I can do that anymore. Unless you want me to, unless you really enjoy this video. I am, I am more of a technical perfectionist type of girl. So this was fun. Maybe I'll do it again. Not right now, <laughs> but let me know. Let me know your thoughts are. Did you like the video? Do you like the dress? What do you want to see from me in the future? Anyways, if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up because it's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Subscribe, turn on that notification bell, especially turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on pattern discounts. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.